how can I, how do I know if I'm really saved? I'm gonna just go back to that answer, that, that first one that I was just talking about, uh, or the second one, I can't remember. But um, yeah, like, we know that we're saved because of the work of the Holy Spirit. Like, one, we follow what Scripture says. What what does the Scripture say about us being saved? It says if you declare Christ as Lord um, and believe in your heart, or if you declare, yeah, um, if you declare with your mouth and believe in your heart, like, you you are, you are will be saved. Now, now, we take Scripture very seriously, um, and that's why we believe in things. The question is, do we actually believe it? Do we, like, because there's one, you can say things with your mouth, but I'm saying, do, do you actually, to the core of you, believe this? And if you do, and if you, there's a point in your life and you do, then, then you are saved and you're not, you don't need to, to worry about, am I living up to the standard? Like, we all fall short of that. We, but we live in a way and we're constantly pursuing holiness. But this is this is why the Bible describes sanctification as a part. Sanctification is this idea that every single day you and I are being shaped shaped and molded into the image of Christ. That's a process and we don't it doesn't come quickly often. It's very long. Um, and one of the one of the most securing things in my own heart to know why I have a relationship with the Lord because it's not like I'm sitting here like oh I'm a really good person that's why I know because if, if that's the way you think it's like I know I'm saved because you know I go to church and I'm questioning whether you understand the gospel actually because that's not how you're saved uh, we know that it's by grace what convinces me every day is his word and what he says and also the evidence I've seen of the Holy Spirit working in my life because he does say that those who become children of God those who have been grafted, we now have the Holy Spirit in our lives. And so if there's an aspect of conviction in your life, you just feel like that conviction isn't there before. Christ, I mean, Holy Spirit is the only one that brings the conviction. And also, I've just seen the changes he's done in my heart that I, I just don't know how to describe that I did not do. There were things I wanted to change, and I tried changing without Christ, and then only God himself changed. And that's evidence to me that... The Holy Spirit's not in your life if you're not actually in the family, if you've not been grafted in. And so that's another evidence. So, um, yeah, please don't beat yourself over, even if you've questioned those things. This is why reading Scripture is so important. And we remind ourselves of the truths because, um, yeah, so often we want to forget. So often we, we feel like we just, we, we can sometimes, some, like, use a false sense of Christianity, this idea of, like, I'm not living up to this. I'm not actually good enough. I don't think I'm actually saved when actually that's not what scripture says. It says you never were good enough. You'll never be good enough when it comes to it's actually only because of what Christ has, has done. And so you like submit yourself to him and because of his righteousness, he, 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 he declares that over you. You are clothed in his righteousness and now you're deemed righteous in front of God. And that is the saving power of the cross. And that's what's so beautiful about Christianity because you cannot earn it. Um, you just need to receive it and accept it for what it is. Uh, and that can take time, but uh, you strive to do that every single day. You strive to remember uh, what he's done for you.